Hey guys, welcome to the next video on Jenkins Tutorial for Beginners. In this video, I'm going to show you how we can create a multi-branch pipeline project in Jenkins. So first of all, what is a multi-branch pipeline project? So the multi-branch pipeline project type enables you to implement different Jenkins files for the different branches of your project. Now, generally in the software teams, which is working on a project, different developers can work on different features. So let's say a team is working on a project called my app and we have a few developers in this team and master branch is generally the final product, right? Which is going to be run in the production. Now, when the developers work on some features, they generally create a branch out of this Git repository. So for example, here, when you click on branches option here, I have one branch, which is feature one. So in a normal software project, whenever some developer works on some feature, he creates a branch. And when this feature is implemented, he or she merges this feature into the master branch. Now at the time when this feature is going on and the developer is working on, how can he test this feature using Jenkins as well as the master branch? So multi-branch pipeline project allows us to test all the branches of your project at the same time using Jenkins. So let's create a multi-branch pipeline project in Jenkins and then we will see how it works. So just click on a new item here and then uh, give any name to your uh, Jenkins project. For example, multi-pipeline project and then scroll down and you will be able to see this option which is multi-branch pipeline. So select this option and then click OK. So my multi-branch pipeline project is created and here you can give you some description about your project and in the branch source you can give the url of your github project so here you can just click on add source and click on git and then just copy the url of your github repository by just clicking on clone or download and then copy uh, this url from here and then paste it here where it says project repository. I don't need to provide any credentials because uh, this project is publicly available. But if you want to add your credentials, you can add it from here. And then in the next section, you will see behaviors. And uh, there is this option which is automatically enabled, which is discover branches. So your Jenkins job is going to automatically discover your branches and then run your test on all the branches. Now it's important to uh, notice here is I have this Jenkins file here in my project, right? So make sure that this Jenkins file is there. We have already seen how we can add this Jenkins file to our GitHub project in the previous video. So I'm not going to tell you how to do this, but make sure that your project have uh, this Jenkins file and then when you scroll down, you will be able to see uh, this section which says build configuration. And in the mode, you will be able to see only one option here, which is Jenkins file. And you need to provide the path of your Jenkins file here. And because my Jenkins file is on the root directory, so I don't need to change the path of this Jenkins file, right? Now, when you scroll down more, you will be able to see scan multi-branch uh, pipeline trigger and for now we only have one trigger which is periodically if not otherwise run so when you check on this uh, checkbox you can uh, run the scan on your project every minute or every two minute or every uh, you know this time period which is given in the list okay so for example I can uh, just set it to every five minute then Jenkins will scan your project every five minutes and it will uh, just look whether your project have any extra branch or not. And if uh, you have committed any changes, then it will run the test on every branch of your GitHub project. Now, rest of the thing, I will leave uh, them as default. 
because we don't need to use them for now. So orphan item strategy, we will not be using. And then health metrics, we can just click on this and you can see there is a one health metrics, which is child item with worst health pipeline libraries. We don't have any pipeline libraries, so we are going to leave this uh, as default. And then the pipeline model definition, we also don't have any model definition, so I'm going to leave it as default. So what we have given here in the configuration, the URL of our project and make sure that you have the Jenkins file in your GitHub project. So just choose or leave it as default, which is Jenkins file and then click on save button. And as soon as you press the save button, you will see a scan will start on your multi branch project. And this scan is scanning the branches in your GitHub project. And you will be able to see uh, two tasks which are parallelly running here. One on the master branch, you can see one on the master branch is running and other scan task is running on the feature branch. And the same branches are available in my GitHub project also. So, so I have feature one branch and the master branch. That's why there are two tasks running to scan them. And when I click on my project here, you will be able to see two jobs here, which are running. One is the master branch job and other is the feature branch job. And you can individually click on every job. So I'm going to click on the master job here and you can see this job is going on and you will be able to see the stages of this job which are currently running. So this job is successful, you can see. And we can also go to the feature branch job also. And you can see it's also successfully tested. So that's why both of them showing the success. Now let me show you how you can create a new branch in Git and push it to your GitHub project and how this uh, trigger works. So I'm going to open the terminal first of all. And then I am going to CD to my project. So I'm going to just CD to my project in which I'm working on. I have already checked out my project here. Now to view all the branches in your project, you can give this command git branch and then press enter and it's going to show you all the branches in your project. So I have two branches right now in my project. One is master and other is feature one. So let's create one new branch. So in order to create a new branch, you just need to give this command git branch and your branch name. So, so let's say I'm going to create a feature branch two here. So I'm going to write feature two and then press enter. And now we are going to list all the branches once again. And now you can see there are three branches in my project. So one is master branch and the other two are feature branches. Now in order to push this branch to your GitHub repository, you can give this command git push origin and then your branch name. So my branch name is feature two and then press enter. And you can see this branch is now pushed to our GitHub repository. So we can verify it by going to our GitHub repository and then uh, refreshing this web page. And I'm going to once again click on branches and you can see our new branch is visible here, which is feature two. Okay. So now once we have the new branch, we can trigger them with some web hooks like Jira or Git bucket. But right now we don't have any web hook. So we are going to just press on this button, which says scan multi branch pipeline now. So I'm going to just click on this and then I'm going to scroll down a little. And you can see there is a new task running here, which is for the feature branch two. And when I refresh this web page, so I'm going to refresh this Jenkins web page. And now you can see this feature branch two Jenkins task is running, right? So when I click on this feature branch two, this uh, build is running and you can see all the tasks are here running and the build is successful now. So now you have uh, three branches and you can see the result of three branches in your Jenkins repository. So this is how you can create a multi-branch pipeline project in Jenkins. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please rate, comment, subscribe and bye for now.